was turning Becky Lynch heel the right call. Welcome back to the ACB Wrestling Talk channel, your main source for wrestling news, topics, discussion, previews, all that kind of good stuff. I am your host, Alexis Carrillo, and over the past few days, over the past few hours, there's been a lot of backlash over how the fact Becky Lynch turned on Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam after their triple threat match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. No, we all saw it. She beat the living hell out of Charlotte Flair simply because Charlotte was the one who took advantage of a situation and won the match to become a seven-time women's champion. But was it the right call? Was it the right move by WWE to do so? Was it the right move for them and for Becky Lynch to turn heel and to that I've got to say that analyzing the story and analyzing the storyline and the story beats I've got to say it is the right move it was the right call because if we uh, rewind if we go all the way to a few weeks ago we remember Becky Lynch beat Carmella one-on-one -on -one in the middle of that ring on Smackdown Live to earn her title shot she thought she was gonna get a one-on-one -on -one title match then all of a sudden, Charlotte Flair comes out, six-time women's champion, the face of the women's division in WWE, the face of the women's revolution, if you must. But she also gets a shot at Carmella, and if she beat Carmella, she would be added to that match. And so she did. She did beat Carmella, and after she beat, she beat the then SmackDown Live women's champion, we could see they showed us on uh, backstage on the monitor Becky Lynch was not too happy about that now after after that happened we saw about two weeks two shows two episodes of Smackdown Live where you know there was this passive aggressive situation between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch where they were both pretty much still acting like friends amongst each other they were both respecting the fact that they were gonna be facing each other at SummerSlam but they weren't happy about it, specifically not Becky Lynch. So we fast forward to this Sunday night at SummerSlam, and finally Becky Lynch feels like she is in the right stage, in the right match to win that woman's title. And what happens? She feels that Charlotte Flair takes that away from her, that her best friend allegedly took that away from her. So that's pretty much the story. And Becky Lynch turning on Charlotte, that does make sense because, yes, because if you've been building up to this match, if you've been building up to this moment for months and months and months, only for your allegedly best friend to come in and take your shot, even though, you know, in WWE, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to compete with your enemies, with your friends, with people you don't care about. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so that's just what I'm trying to explain. The storyline makes sense. Becky Lynch did have to turn heel. The problem is, the real problem for WWE right here is the fact that the fans, the WWE Universe itself, does not want to, he want to boo Becky Lynch. And other than a few cheap heel moments, like for example, talking uh, badly about the town that they're in, talking badly about the WWE Universe itself, that's when they boo because that's where they're supposed to boo. But when Becky Lynch calls out who is supposed to be the babyface in Charlotte Flair, when she calls out even the fans themselves for not being as supportive as they could have been in the past, the fans still cheered for her and I found that amusing so what should WWE do what's WWE's next move because honestly if they were to stay stubborn if they were to remain stubborn and push Becky Lynch as a heel when the fans don't want to boo her I think that could create some problems what I propose is to treat Becky Lynch as a tweener she is justifiably mad at Charlotte Flair for taking her shot, for taking her title, or for taking the title that she believed was hers for the taking, but don't have her, you know, join with heels like 
Carmella, or like the Iconics, like WWE always does when somebody turns heel. Eventually, you know, when somebody turns heel in WWE, it doesn't matter if you've had problems with someone in the past. If they're a heel too, hey, let's put them together. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to offer up as a solution for this particular situation that the WWE has put themselves into. So anyway, those are my thoughts. That's what I think uh, this situation entails for a SmackDown Live creative team. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be very difficult to pull, to pull this off because... Charlotte Flair is a babyface, she is cheered, but Becky Lynch is someone the fans want to cheer. So anyway, leave your thoughts below. What do you think about Becky Lynch turning heel? Do you think it was the right move? Do you think it, it should have been Charlotte Flair turning heel, seeing as though she is the more natural heel? And we've seen that in the past. Leave your comments down below on the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are covering here news, topics, discussion, previews, all that kind of good stuff Monday through Friday. And this week, leading up to the All-In pay-per-view, we are also covering individual All-In matches. So make sure you check out those videos right here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. That's it for me. Till next time.